Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Just like last time, heads up, Inkwell has blessed us with more gifts. You have two weeks to claim all the rewards from the Maple Admin. I'm going to wait to claiming the notes and symbols and transfer those over to my new Hyperburner. You can claim these rewards until the maintenance that brings the new summer update on the 12th. So claim them while they're hot. And now onwards to the notice. Our glorious leader Inkwell has returned with a new notice detailing more changes and what they're working on for MapleStory Global. I personally really love these type of updates as it makes it a lot clearer what they're working on, what they're thinking of and why they're doing certain things. I love it. So what's happening? Let's quickly check out the notice. First of all, the interactive world, aka regular server, is going to get some changes in tradability. Nodestones and Sol Erda fragments will be tradable starting from the summer update. A huge change for the interactive world is going to help a lot of players. Inkwell did mention though that for this to work in GMS, they need a steady influx of new players and players will need to play more or retain longer. So convert your friends and make them grind in Mushroom Game forever. Nexon is looking into fully merging some servers, but that will take up to next year, September, for them to fully confirm. Thanks for that, Nero. Also, Nexon is looking into Frenzy and potentially bringing it back. You know, this item is not going to go away, and if you don't want to piss off the whales who already have the item by nerfing it or removing it, making it more available is definitely a solution. I think it's a pretty good one as well. But let me know what you think. Nexon is still reviewing this, so no decision has been made yet. So make sure to leave your feedback. Do you want Frenzy back and the Frenzy to be more available? And that, of course, is in the regular server. The wild totems, they're not coming back. Then there is the reward shop, and wow, MapleStory is going to be even more free to play. Nexon is going to add more items to the reward store and change the purchase limits of some of the other items. For example, in the Heroic World, aka Reboot, we can now get a multipad for free once a month. This is going to be a must-have item, very nice, and in the Interactive World, aka the regular servers, Nexon is adding bonus glowing cubes, which is also very cool. And a lot of items like scrolls and hyper teleport rocks will not have a purchase limit anymore in the regular servers, which is also great. And then there's also more, they're also adding 90 day duration transparent gear, pets and the water of life can be purchased without any limit for all servers. This is some really good stuff. It's going to be a lot easier for those who want to play without spending and now we have something to buy with our reward points. This is super positive for like everyone. Skipping a bit further down the notice, because I think most active Maplers will like this news the most, familiars are finally coming to Grandis. So far, they will only be added to Cernium. Oh man, finally! And more cards will be added over time as well. Another huge, impactful and positive change, because currently, if you want to grind familiars and you're already level 260, you have to go back to lower level areas to farm familiars, which is kind of a waste of EXP. And you can't find six job resources in those areas where you can currently find familiars. So this is another big win for high level maplers. Then there are also going to be some changes to the upcoming content, High Mountain. This new level 260 plus dungeon rewards EXP and a thing called Maple Coins. And those coins can be traded in for Meso, but since we're not getting any kind of Meso limit, this coin will be removed and instead we're getting Sol Erda Fragments, which are needed for the 6 job skills. Which I think seems like a fair trade-off to me. We don't get a Meso limit, but we don't get more ways to accumulate Meso. But instead more ways to get 6 job items, so hey. I'm fine with this, this is actually pretty good for me as well. So yeah, wow, nice! These are some really positive changes and good communication as well from Nexon for once. So thanks everyone for making your voice heard and thanks to the GMS team for pushing for these changes that must have been quite hard to suddenly have such a big change in direction and additional resources. It looks like MapleStory Global is gearing up for a huge summer update with a ton of positive changes, so thanks for that. But also, special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Konek, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, Backspace ODI, Ziggy Deer, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Michael Menchaka, Ratius, Betrayal1489, Silvio Neto, Afterlord, Striker Elk, Riser Aryu, Matthias Simonson, PC Game Life, The Passenger, Max Bernhardt, Scotty Flies Fast, Fecko, Only, Lord Fazil, Spots D. Kaiser, Dante Victory, Snafu Pop, Quinn, Dewey Tran, Sir Otter, Vake Botnet, Kani Wu, Migu, The Wolf Drake, Mathinu Death, Privy Bang, Best Guild Luna, and Grogo. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!